if you could choose three foods to eat for the rest of your life, what are you choosing? <laughs> well, I'm working on the farm. Somebody <laughs> reading what people ask me. What three foods would I eat? Eggs. I, I asked ChatGPT. I got on a debate with some vegans and fruitarians and carnivores. I was like, I said, ChatGPT, one island has only dairy products. One island has only eggs. One island only has lentils. ChatGPT said, if you're a vegan, the most whole food would be ve lentils. Which island would be the healthiest? So it went through, and I said, with this parameter, people go to war with each other. Which island would end up winning? Healthiest but most dominant? Dairy. <laughs> dairy. <laughs> but Now, a lot of people are going to get butt hurt because there's weirdo theories about dairy based on bad science or horrible milk in the study like factory milk is a lot different from this farm of mine where I milk Jersey cow by hand and eat raw milk or drink raw milk raw butter non-pasteurized grass-fed no factory confinement model so dairy eggs is in many ways the most complete food you can have but I would try to have all three so you have your dairy products your lentils, and your eggs. Now you'd be missing out on a lot of stuff. You would definitely be missing out on the benefits of fruits and fiber and, and veggies. But maybe I would take off, maybe I'd say either dairy or eggs, some animal product of that caliber, and then lentils, and then something either berries like blueberries. You need some fiber and you need all the phytochemicals. So I grow a lot of stuff on my farm, something people don't know about me. I actually, my first business was agriculture. My mentor, Joel Salatin, is one of the pioneers, if not the most famous pioneer of regenerative agriculture. You learn a lot about nutrition when you have animals because if you're breeding horses, breeding cows, breeding chickens, you see it in their bloodline. You see it right away show up. So. Humans get all weird with diets, you know. In general, you don't want only three foods. Humans are omnivores. I have pigs. You can do a stomach swap for people who have cancer with a pig. So we know we have very similar stomachs to pigs, bears, omnivores, and they eat everything with few exceptions. Now, there are things that pigs eat that will make them healthier, especially when they're young, they need enough protein. The problem in the modern world is Carbs are cheap and easy to grow, so most of the things you get that's processed are high in carbs. Simple carbs, high glycemic index carbs. Civilizations grow off protein, especially when kids are young. 